What is going on everybody today? I'm gonna be doing a video that I've been asked to do by a lot of you guys and I'm gonna hopefully answer a question that I see in the comments section all the time and that is how do I record my Clash Royale videos? How do I post them to YouTube? How do I get the background in my videos? And just overall how do I make my Clash Royale videos? Now there is one thing I do want to point out before I get started and that is I do have like all Apple products. I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, I have a Mac laptop. So I think the easiest way to record Clash Royale is if you have Apple products. Uh, not just because I like Apple products, but it's just super simple to do. If you do have an Android phone that you want to record off of, I can still help you out and give you some tips. It's just a little bit more tricky in my opinion. Alright guys, so I'm switched over here so I can show you a quick view of my setup. Uh, I do use the Blue Yeti microphone to record. Hopefully that can focus. I think it's honestly one of the best mics on the market to record, awesome quality. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to record on the iPad. Uh, don't worry if you have an iPhone, it is exactly the same. You just click one different button. Also guys, don't worry about uh, all the freaking Pokemon cards laying around. This is my setup for my Pokemon videos. I've got like a little light that I use. It's pretty awesome. But I do my Clash Royale videos over here. And my background is kind of a work in progress. I got a couple Pokemon, I got my beatbox thing. I got this uh, Juggernog fridge, you know, shout out to Cheez-Its. But what I want to show you right now is how to record this Clash Royale. So the first thing you have to do is plug your microphone into your computer. Um, if you don't have a microphone, just use your laptop speakers, it's probably your best bet. But up next, you want to plug in your iPhone and or iPad into the computer just like this. So we're going to do that right now. Alright guys, so once you have your iPad, iPhone, whatever your Apple device is plugged into your computer, you want to look for this program called QuickTime Player. If you can't find it on your computer, just go up to Spotlight, type in QuickTime Player, should be the first option, and go ahead and double click that. Then go up to File and hit New Movie Recording. This is important, you don't want to hit New Audio or New Screen Recording because that's not what you want. Hit New Movie Recording and it's going to bring up a little window. Chances are, if it's your first time opening the application, it's going to be like a little FaceTime camera of yourself. Um, my settings are already correct, so it just opened up my iPad automatically. If you want to record your iPad, which is obviously what you want, go down, click on this little drop down arrow, check iPad under the camera settings, and to get the audio, check iPad under the microphone settings. This is important. All right, so once you have that, you can click this little record button. Um, obviously, you want to open up your Clash Royale app. Um, if that's what you want to record, you can also record other games. Doesn't really matter. Anything on your phone or iPad will work. Um, but to start recording, you want to hit this little button here. Now, if you want to have the video of yourself so that you can have your voice in it, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is bring up Photo Booth. This is what I use. Um, it's in 720p HD, so it's pretty good quality. Not like amazing, but it's good enough for the time being. So what I would do here in this situation is when I'm ready to start recording, I'm going to hit record on the photo booth first. It's going to count down and when it hits zero, I'm going to hit record on the QuickTime player. That way the audio is all synced up already. I won't have to do too much extra. But uh, let me just show you an example of how that would work. So if I was going to record a video right now, I'd hit record on my photo booth first. It's going to count down. So I'm going to get ready at zero. I'm going to click record on my QuickTime player. And then that's it. That's it for the recording. So I'm just going to hop into like the training camp, play for like 10 seconds so that you can see exactly how it works. Um, you can see on screen it's recording my voice, my, my camera, and, um, and the gameplay. Uh, might be a little laggy right now because I have so much stuff going on, but I promise it won't be laggy for you guys. Um, here comes some random stuff. Let's just throw down some skeleton army. Let's just throw down another skeleton army, um, whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that's how I record. And when you're done, just hit stop recording. Hit stop recording here. And we'll click off of the iPad for the time being. So then what you want to do is it already saves your video right here. It already saves your video there. And under QuickTime, it's got your video saved here. So um, you want to you wanna hit the X and then you want to save it real quick. So I'm just going to call it test. Um, something easy to remember then up next I would open up my video editing software So maybe for you guys that's iMovie for me. I use Final Cut Pro um, Definitely the best software you can get there's ways to get it for free, but 
Uh, I won't go over that now. So. so what I would do now is search for my video clip. I saved it as test and you guys can see it right here under movies. So I would go ahead and drag this into here and then there's my, uh, there's my gameplay. I'll let that play out. But as you can see, there's no background. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and get my background from some of my other videos. Uh, this is what I use. You guys can find a picture that you guys like on the internet. So all you would have to do is drag it onto your desktop and uh, drag it into your movie recorder. Since I already have it, I'm just gonna hit paste. And you want it to be, oh my gosh, let's get it here. All right, you want it to be over top of your gameplay, not underneath. So the gameplay is on the bottom, this is on the top. So what we're gonna do now is just kind of line it up so that there's no empty space on the screen, just like that. And then we're gonna drag our gameplay right here so that it's centered. I'm um, just gonna do a little bit there. And now it's centered. So I'm gonna let this play out so you guys can see exactly how it would look. I'll turn down the volume a little bit so it's not insane loud. But yeah, there is that. That's an easy way to do that. There's the gameplay, there's a the background. Now, if you're wondering how to get your picture in there, you just take the video that you made on Photoshop and then go ahead and drag it in there. It's just super simple. I'm sure it works very similarly on the uh, on the um, 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 iMovie on different softwares. Obviously, this is way too big, so you're gonna click and drag it, make it smaller, and just go ahead and put it wherever you want. You can put it down here, you can put it over here. Um, I, I like mine up here in the top. I think it's the best spot. Um, and then I'll show you guys how that looks. So you can see exactly how it works. Um, you can see on screen it's recording my voice, my, my camera. And uh, Now again, it's really laggy because I'm doing a screen recording of my computer so that I can show you guys. Um, on your guys', it obviously won't be that laggy because you won't be recording six million things. You'll just be recording the gameplay and yourself. So obviously guys, that's the basics for how I record my Clash Royale. Um, you can always go into other things like if you want a background like a frame, this is what I use for my frame around my picture. Uh, I already have this. You guys can find another image from the internet if that's what you want to do. And uh, I usually just go ahead and put this under there and make that smaller, obviously. Let's go ahead and just make that smaller. And then you just kind of want to fit it to your camera like this. And so now there's like a nice little frame. Obviously, I didn't take my time on that it would look a lot better but there's like a nice little frame around it you guys can play around with that stuff let me know hopefully this video helped you become like an amazing clash royale video recorder editor all that um if not let me know what i could have done better in the comment section below and if you guys use android my friend uses an app called mobizen on the android store i'll leave the name in the description um Hopefully that can help you guys out. I know Android users, sorry there wasn't a whole lot for you, but this is just the easiest way I know how on Apple devices. So with that guys, hopefully I answered some questions. Leave a like on this video, subscribe. I got a lot more Clash Royale coming, probably some live streams, so I'll see you then.